What's going on? It's Will back with another video and today I'm going to be welding a 2 inch Schedule 10 stainless steel pipe which if you haven't heard Outlaw Leather is going to be having a competition at our national high school competition here at South Coast Welding Academy and they're actually calling it the Golden Arm Shootout and they're going to be competing on a 2 inch Schedule 10 stainless pipe so this is going to be my take on the weld as well as a small tutorial on how to do it. So let's go. All right guys, so the way that I weld these out is uh, I, I prefer a five 30 second gap because uh, we're gonna be using a 30 second rod, which is a 308 stainless wire. And I actually put two bridge tacks here and here I got it purged up, so we're not going to show that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a penetrating tack on the bottom, close it, repurge it, and then a penetrating tack on top. That way my gap doesn't uh, close or fluctuate as I'm welding it. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so I put the penetrating tack on the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop me one up on top. I'm not trying to make it too big, just enough to hold it together. That's all I need. Alright guys, so I feathered my tack, but whenever I'm welding alloys or something, what I do is I light up on the tack first, watch it burn out, watch it make a keyhole, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip, keyhole dip. But if you look, I'm going to backfeed it from the top, just like this. I'm sticking it in through the, wa uh, through the tape. And if you look over here, you can see that the wire is going to come out on this side. I'm going to dip, keyhole, dip, keyhole, dip, keyhole. Just up and down, dip, up and down, dip, up and down, dip. That's how I'm going to do it. So here we go. So like I said, what I do is I light up on it first. Watch it keyhole. That way I know that I'm, I'm breaking down both walls. And I'm going to... I already keyhole dip, keyhole dip, keyhole dip. Like I said, I'm gonna do this the whole way. This lets me know that I break down both walls. Dip, dip. Dip. I'm gonna weld this up to my uh, bridge tack. This is a really good uh, method too if the gap is closing up on you. You can do this to open it back up. If you prefer to just feed it the whole way, you can do that. I do it too sometimes, but so I'm doing this one. Stop right here. There you go. All right, guys. So I just did that right side or the hard side. Now I'm gonna switch over and do the same thing, but just with my left hand. There we go. Pop, pop the wire through the top. But like I said guys, I don't just put the rod there. I, I'm gonna watch it keyhole and then I put my rod in. So here we go. Watch it keyhole, it's gonna keyhole just like that. Burn those edges, pop that wire in. Dip it, dip it keyhole. That way I'm not putting too much heat on the pipe as well. When uh, you're welding 6G, I really uh, recommend learning to use your left hand, especially when you get out there in the field. It's a lifesaver. Sometimes you get in some spots that you just cannot get into. 
if you look here the gap is getting a little bit tighter like I said all I gotta do is dip and keyhole and that gap will open up just how I want it to like that boom stop right here alright guys so I welded the bottom you saw my knee now I'm gonna weld this top half same thing though I'm just gonna dip keyhole dip keyhole all the way up there you go still running at 55 ounce remember light up on it you're only burning at 55 ounce so that arc is really weak give it time to heat up and finish it off dip Watch that arc break both sides down. Remember, if that gap closes up, this dip keyhole will open it right for you. So, that's what it's doing for me right here. Right here, I'm dipping from the outside of the pipe. The gravity will pull it down for me. Alright guys, so just hopped up on that other side. I'm going to finish this side off with my right hand because that's how I feel most comfortable. So Here we go. All right, guys, so before you close anything you're purging, you want to turn down your purge because it's going to act like like a balloon and just fill up, fill up, and it's going to push your tie-in out. So I turn it down, and uh, I'm fixing the tie-in. Close this wood up, so here we go. Gotta fill it by itself, then fill it all in. Make sure that you don't just pop out, you trail off like this. We're gonna avoid a fish eye. Alright, guys, so I did the root. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hot pass it. And uh, I'm just gonna freehand the bottom here because I feel a little bit more comfortable than that. I'll snap off and then. Walk the rest, and then I'll walk the whole cap. Two inch 
Schedule 10 stainless steel pipe. Hot pass it. Remember when you pop off, trail off. Don't just pop off. All right, guys. So I said I was gonna walk it, but I think it'll be a little bit faster if I just uh, go ahead and freehand it. So. I'm gonna give that puddle some time to heat up. Make sure that you don't just pop out, you trail out like this. All right guys, so I just finished the hot pass. I let it cool down for like 15 minutes though because I don't like just starting up when the pipe is still hot, especially on schedule 10. So now I'm gonna just walk the cap, one beat it, and we'll finish this up. So here we go. I'm gonna give that photo some time to heat up.
All right, guys, so there you have it. This is my take on the two inch schedule 10 stainless steel in the 6G position, which like I said, is gonna be the challenge that Outlaw is giving at their golden arm shootout here at the high school competition at South Coast Well Academy on June 13th. So the winner of the golden arm shootout challenge will receive a $500 gift card as well as a custom hood from Outlaw Leather and most of all bragging rights. It's not easy to do. So like I said, this is my take. Hope to see you guys there. Want to see your guys, how you guys do. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Boom.